Welcome to Perspectives, I'm Randall Mark. In this new series, we take you on a fun exploration of the multicultural landscapes of Vancouver. We take you beyond just eating ethnic food to the spiritual beliefs that lie behind the people that we meet all over the place. Today's show, Alternative Medicine. We talk with an emergency room physician who left Western medicine to become a health and wellness expert. We also show you how to make foods that best line up with your personality type, and I get acupuncture. say there's no scientific evidence whatsoever to support alternative medicine but practices like acupuncture and naturopaths have been rooted in spiritual traditions that have been around thousands of years and they see the body and the soul as interconnected but do they actually work or are they placebo ayurvedic cooking is absolutely fascinating it's a hindu practice of getting the right foods and lining them up with your body type or your dosha Marisa, we are doing Ayurvedic cooking. I've never heard of that before. What is it and what's all this stuff? Ayurvedic cooking is the oldest healing system in the world. Okay. It originates in India and it's a really called life science. Life science. Yeah. Okay. And but it uses this thing called doshas. That's right. What is that? Explain that's that. right, that's right. Well, in Ayurveda they say that we're born into basically three body types. All of us fit into a permutation of these three. And those three are vata, pitta, kapha. Wind, fire, earth. I want to be fire. Oh, do you? You probably are fire. Really? Most people in the media are fire. Okay, so okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay <laughs> these three, wind, fire, and what's the other one? Earth. Okay, and what is, just in a quick little synopsis. Properties? Yeah, what are they, what well, are they about? Vata is wind, and they're the energetic, spontaneous start projects. The fire are leaders, they're decision makers, they make projects happen. Okay. That's why often people like you are already mm, Okay, I'm, I, I fail a lot of stuff. Okay, and what's the third okay. one? It's earth, holding the world up. Oh, okay, yeah, they're the dependable. Stability, dependable. And then how does the, the food can they connect with those different types? What do you mean? Yeah, interesting. Well, firstly, we all have an aspect of all three in us, otherwise we'd never get anything done. Because the vata's the instigator, pitta's the decision maker, and earth is the stability. Uh, if they're in balance, they're fantastic. Vata gets things going. Out of balance, Vata is like a chicken running around with a head cut off. And you're saying the food helps with the people in balance. Yeah. So if I eat the wrong stuff, yeah. uh, then I could be way off. What happens? Headaches, stress? What? what All I of the above, sure. So give me some properties of this food that can help balance. Let's say, okay. I'm, let's say I'm the fire guy. What's that one again? Okay, the fire guy. Well, it, and it's kind of obvious, pita. pita. Okay, I'm pita. What do I need you're to eat pita. to keep me well, balanced? Well, pita would eat more cooling foods. Mm. So you, and sweet foods. Yogurt? And, uh, yogurt is cooling if you home make it. I have a oh. recipe in my book for homemade yogurt. Okay. If you buy it, it's sour, and sour mm. actually increases pita. Okay, so not too much of that. Yes. What about things like radishes? What do they do? Radishes are very good. They're pungent, they clear the blood, and they calm the system. Let's get to it. Show me how to make it. All right. Okay. Dr. Susan Bialy was a depressed, frustrated medical doctor until she made a break with Western medicine to describe something that she described as more holistic. She even described, she did something called Reiki healing, the ancient Buddhist practice. Dr. Susan Bialy, how did you move from being a medical doctor trained at UBC to getting into alternative medicine, because that seems kind of like a huge jump. It is, it is, it really was quite a big jump because I actually was being trained originally in emergency medicine. Okay. And during that residency, I actually got so profoundly depressed. Hmm. And I, I really believe, I know now that that was because I'd gotten so off track in my life. I'd spent my whole life trying to meet other people's expectations mm -hmm. and never once considered what I wanted to do and never even considered how I might want to view health and medicine. Hmm. Now, did you move away? Like, obviously, you're still a medical doctor. You're still trained that way. That's right. But you draw from alternative medicine. Yes. Yes. Very, now, some of the alternative medicine out there is kind of weird and <laughs> wacky. Did you, what kind of experiences have you had on that? Well, personally, I actually, when I moved away from traditional medicine, even though mm -hmm. I always kept practicing it, and I still do, I, I wanted to fill a kind of a void in terms of being able to help people that I felt traditional medicine was missing. 
And so I myself started experimenting with other things. Like, give me an example. Give me an alternative medicine thing that you started to experiment with. Well, I really fell in love with this healing art called Reiki. Reiki? What's that? Yes. It, it's kind of hard to describe. It's, um, it's like a laying on of hands that um, supposedly, and I say supposedly for yeah. a reason, uh, taps into divine energy. And it's actually kind of like acupuncture in that in acupuncture, they're working with the meridians of the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the idea with Reiki is that um, people have energy that moves through their body. Yeah. And by applying the hands, you're altering, improving. But, I wouldn't but want to, right? it almost sounds like magic. <laughs> you're telling me you're just putting hands on your dog <laughs> saying, this person's got a broken, you know, femur or something. Well, there actually, there actually are a lot of mainstream medical people who practice this kind of stuff. Like, you know, Mehmet Oz, who's on Oprah. Okay. Like, he would have Reiki applied to his cardiac surgery patients. He's one of the best known physicians in the that world. That's weird. I know. Did any of that so kind of, it kind of freaks me out. Did you ever get like, okay, whoa, this is too much here. This is crazy. Yeah. Like you mentioned earlier about like hearing voices yeah, and things. Yeah. I actually started having some really paranormal type experiences, which I've ever, actually never talked about before. Mm. You're the first person I met. I've talked mm. about it publicly. And and other strange things that, that were happening. And the real turning point was actually that I was working with a friend who had cancer. Yeah. Who, who was so excited about alternative medicine and particularly about things like in the movie The Secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. idea that we Your create... Your positive thinking can heal you. If yeah. you just speak into it, it'll happen. Yes, and I, I really think posi being positive is very, very important to health and really yeah. can make a great difference. But this idea that we as human beings can take charge of all this and heal people yeah. and heal ourselves, I think you can to a certain degree. What, what but happened to your friend? She died. So all the positive thinking in the world obviously didn't work. And right. you began to question that, obviously. Yes, and, that, and just looking at illness in a whole new way. Mm. Like, that doesn't necessarily have to be something we have to save everybody from. That for some people, like with me, depression, that's a form of illness. Yeah. For me, the profoundly difficult experience of depression is what completely turned my life around. So in that sense, it's a thing that's it's good. It's, it's a necessary part it of what it means be. to be a human and experience pain and... It's not just something to root out of your one's life. R right. Coming up after the break, I find out what it feels like to put an acupuncture needle right in my muscle.